Welcome back, family. Today we will review this viral, dramatic modern woman. I am sure that by now you have already seen her so-called I am devastated viral clip. You're giving this woman everything that I begged you for. Everything I begged you for. Yes, that one. Today, we are going to review her situation before that viral clip, as well as give you an update on what she's been up to lately. Because I believe that this woman is definitely a case to study regarding everything that's wrong with the modern woman today. Let's start by reviewing a clip of her situation sometimes after her divorce. Okay, so I found this beautiful spot that's overlooking the lake. I have a rock to sit on. And my shoes are all muddy. So, one thing that I love about solitude is you get to think. And so going on this trail, as I'm running through it, taking pictures, my mind's running and something comes across my mind. So I want to record it. I want to make sure that I remember it. And that is after my divorce, I felt really alone. And I didn't really know who I was because um, I had had a partner define me for so long. Well, at least I felt like it. And I didn't, I just didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know where I wanted to go. I just had a lot of things that I needed to figure out. And, and so as I'm walking through this trail by myself in the quiet and the stillness, I realize I'm happy. I'm really, really happy and I'm happy I'm happy by myself. Not to say that that doesn't mean that one day I don't want to be with somebody. I just felt like you can be happy on your own. And you can't really be happy with somebody else until you're happy being alone. You can't count on somebody else to fulfill your life. You can't count on somebody else to tell you who you are. You have to be who you are. You just have to do it. It's hard and it sucks and there's days that you cry and there's times that you wonder why things are happening the way that they're happening. But then you have moments like this that bring clarity and you're just in awe of the wisdom that you've learned about yourself. The power that that can bring you knowing that you're okay alone and you don't need somebody else to bring you happiness. When somebody comes into your life, they should magnify that happiness. They shouldn't be responsible for it. Um, I am, I'm just so grateful today. Um, everybody's, you know, quarantined. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. Embrace it. Learn from it. Learn from the stillness. Take the opportunity to really look at your life, look at yourself and tell yourself, Am I happy? Am I doing what I need to make me happy? You know, am I helping others around me be happy? Um, gosh, it's a beautiful day, you guys. Don't waste it. I know that you almost lost some brain cells just listening to this nonsense rant, and trust me when I say me too. So this was her state of mind sometimes after her divorce. She said that she was lost, but then she recovered and became a better person because she learned who she was and also learned how to be happy alone. But then, after sometimes this happens. 17 and a half years married, four kids. I begged this man, begged this man. Please, Ken, I've never been out of the U.S. Can we please go out of the U.S.? Can I want to experience something new. Uh, can we travel? Can we do something? No, no. I get a text from him five minutes ago. What does it say? Hey, I need your permission. It's in the planning, but me and Aaron, his fiance, are taking her kids and want to, he wants to take Kylie to Mexico for spring break. <laughs> and I said, because um, he needs my permission to do that. And I said, absolutely, it's a great experience for her. Just please watch her. Um, have fun and be safe. It's really, really hard for me because it's like 17 and a half years four kids and I begged you, I begged you to take us or to take me and to do those kinds of trips and, and to spend that kind of time with us. And it was always no. 
And now, you're giving this woman everything that I begged you for. Everything I begged you for, you are giving to her. People do that because they want to feel heard. And they want to know that they're validated for feeling the way that they're feeling that it's not right and it isn't okay. And it confirms my choice to divorce was right. Even though I'm the one that was shamed and I'm the one that lost friends of 15 years because they didn't want to be associated with me anymore because I walked away. This is why I call this type of women emotional roller coaster. They can be happy, angry, and sad all at the same damn time. They are just all over the place. We can clearly see why ex-husband did not measure up to her expectations in her eyes. Even though she said that her husband didn't take her out of the country, I bet that her husband did a lot of other things for her. But because she was so focused on what her husband was not doing for her, her husband definitely didn't feel appreciated. This type of women do not appreciate the good things you do for them. It's always about, what have you done for me lately? Now, let's have a look at what she has been up to recently. Driving through town and I look up at the stoplight and my ex-husband is across the way in his truck and the stoplight and I just take my left turn and keep going and it it was like a very surreal moment for me because I remember just being so excited when this man pulled in the driveway home from work I mean just I oh like I couldn't wait for him to be home and then I just you know I see his truck and I'm just like hmm interesting it's amazing what kind of love you'll tolerate when you're super hungry for it you can clearly see that she still feels some type of way about her ex-husband even though she is trying really hard to hide it by playing it cool look at how her face lit up when she talked about being so excited seeing her ex-husband coming home because i remember just being so excited when this man pulled in the driveway home from work i mean just i Ugh, like I couldn't wait for him to be home. I bet a million bucks that from the moment she sees again her ex-husband happy with his new wife, she will go to TikTok to complain again. Fellas, it was really hard for me just scrolling through this woman's page to find content to make this video. The amount of attention-seeking, validation, and cloud-chasing is absolutely insane on this woman's page. I think that I might even need a break after watching this debauchery. Over 95% of my viewers are not subscribers. So if you find some value in my content, I would really appreciate a sub, like, comment, and share so that we can keep pushing this content. That would really mean a lot to me. That's it for today. Peace.